Ah, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I prepared some maps for our new project. We go deeper into Kirak missions, as I will show you. Um, <coughs> I changed our Atlas tree a little bit as stayed with Expedition and uh, excluding some other league mechanics. And I took a lot of points for Kirak missions. We will see what this is worth. We, uh, you can get some more Kirak missions here in the middle of the tree, especially here, gain one Kirak missions each day and 3% chance here are more percent chance to get Kirak missions on this point, so seven alone. Um, and down here are another 3%, so we've got 10% uh, chance to gain an additional Kirak mission. That doesn't doesn't collide with um, the other uh, master missions like Nico and so on. You can have both a Kirak mission and a Nico mission, for example. And there are other notes. We took more scouting reports. We will have a deeper look into them, and a chance for scouting reports to drop uh, drop as. I will name them special scouting reports, blighted and delirious, otherworldly. And down here we've got um, operative scouting reports and so on. Very nice. Then there are some other notes like more pack size in Kirak missions and more quality of maps. We will take them later when we really run the Kirak missions, not yet. This is what I prepared. I also took the map notes over here for Conqueror, Shaper, Elder and Synthesis maps. And um, I stayed a little bit with uh, strong boxes, not so hard as normal, just one more strong box, corrupted strong boxes, operative strong boxes, which are really good. Uh, and our loved Diviner strong boxes, of course. And um, what we will do is, I choose a map which is uh, where the boss is really nearby. Uh, we can rush through the map, kill the boss, and get our Kirok missions. We've got four left at the moment, I think, yes. But we want more. Let's have a look into the inventory. Here is nothing at the moment. Okay. We will rush through the boss, uh, kill him, hope to get some of these special maps. I've planned another project with them and get Kirak missions and the special scouting reports. We will have a look on them. Um, and yeah, this is what I prepared. And of course, we run one map together as always. Did I forgot anything? I don't think so. The, the maps are prepared. I already have a stash tab here where I can throw them in and it's 30 maps beach maps and we just go in and kill and we are ready for the first map we don't bother with altars this time we only focus on the kirok missions um, we don't use scarabs i just use the sacrifice fragments for more quant and we can take ambush some strong boxes are always nice and um my character is quite good at strong boxes because I can place my totems and go away and don't get killed by those strong box monsters. Um, you have to be uh, freeze immune um, to do this. This is very important. When you get frozen uh, by the strong box monsters, you want to get killed. Okay, you will get killed. I bought myself a new bow 25 d1 with a high attack speed roll this uh, plus three to level of socketed gems is uh, normal all these bows have this uh, fire damage over time multiplier fire damage as extra chaos damage very nice and i got here uh, this mod which is quite rare plus two to uh, endurance and frenzy charges and they are good for me and i don't need power charges at all so very good uh, attack speed here not so high uh, some global damage very good okay off we go of course we take a regret <laughs> 
I can change it. Uh, the mob density in beach isn't so good. Um, there's the first strong box, a good one. And we kill some mobs, trap disarmament, moderate value. Nothing for us. We continue and kill mobs. We are nearly at the boss arena, I would say. There's another strong box again, an arcanist one. Very nice. Yeah. And we get some loot. Nothing good so far. But that doesn't matter. Of course, we pick up alchemy orbs. No. Not this one. Here's a shrine. This is good. Okay, everything dies. Here's the boss. Quickly place the totems. Now we kill really fast with a new bow. And he dropped nothing. No Kirak mission. Hmm. This is not so nice. And we haven't got an expedition, which we should have in nearly every map through our tree. Ah, no, I blocked it. Ah, okay, I have to take this out, because um, you can block it when you use a scarab, but we don't use a scarab, so I have to unblock it. That was stupid. Um, do we have a refund point? Yes, we have. Okay, here is expedition. That was quite stupid. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I will continue with the other 29 maps and then inform you how much how much Kirak missions we got, how much um, of the special maps and so on. See you in a moment.
Yeah, we did our 30 maps and these are the results. I will now first turn in the uh, vendor refresh currency and then the stack decks, because we get stack decks from 2gen and then we will have a look on the results. Uh, I simply included the loot which came from Danik and Tujin here, two logbooks and a nice map, currency, more currency than we found in the 30 maps, really funny, and a lot of stack decks. I will quickly open them now and show you the results. Okay, we are ready. In these stack decks there were nothing, but uh, we found some interesting things. We found some of these good maps we anointed on our tree. Not so much, 30 maps, so every th six maps, uh, uh, yeah, uh, one of these maps not so great, I would say. Um, we haven't had map sustain. Um, uh, I think what you really need when you do this strategy are these nodes here for map have a chance to be one tier higher because we really found a lot of low tier maps and so this wasn't optimized i would say not so great um, we found a lot of uh, scare maps and they ca mostly came from these operative strong boxes so that this uh, this is good um, expedition is always good as you know we've got one two three three really good logbooks around 40 45 chaos i would say three not so good um, that's okay uh, but expedition is always worth it and it was only elk and go without scarabs and then we've got the scouting reports we uh, anointed on our tree we can first have a look how much kirak missions we got five and 30 maps hmm. so uh, we took uh, all you can take and 10% um, more chance for a Kirak mission and in one map we got two Kirak missions that was funny um, but that's not so much uh, really it's, n it's not easy to farm them and then we took all the notes for this better scouting reports and what we found is not so impressing. This is uh, the only one which is really worthy. The other worldly scouting report goes for 68 chaos. This is 10 chaos, 5 chaos, 3 chaos, 2 chaos, uh, nothing. No? So not so great, I would say. That dropped some, but I'm not so impressed. Um, if you really want to go the strategy, then I would say you need the nodes with maps are a tier higher this would be the first thing and then uh, i think we would need more pack size maybe these nodes aren't worth it uh, the map nodes and you could invest uh, those points into pack size here and here and do something or do something with scarabs uh, i'm not absolutely sure and the scouting reports i'm not sure if they are worth it okay so more or less a project for on the side which you can do when you do other things which are very really lucrative like expedition and so on okay that was it for today we we'll see us and bye bye